Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 8th, 9th, and 10th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this is the introduction. You're going to find this on all of the videos. But if you want to bypass, or if you like to cross-watch, you know, your, your rising, ascending moon, Jupiter, Venus, Mercury then I should put, I have probably put a timestamp on the, you know, in the description so you can bypass and go right to the main reading. I hope you watch the um, introduction at least one time. Now, um, again, this is Monday, this is Friday through Saturday. Um, I will be using my Radley Valentine deck. I will, for the main reading, this is my Angel Tarot cards. I will also use my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I will pick one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for the reading that we're doing now, the overview of the readings, I will be using my Weight Rider, Rider Weight, um, Traditional Tarot, and I will be pulling one from my, yes, still have to look for her, Col Colette Baron Reed, The Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? A couple of things going on. The um, energies are kind of quiet, but yet they're not. I don't know if this is um, kind of the eye of the hurricane, the calm before the storm. I'm not sure. The Schumann resonance, which... I am not an expert in, but I do share when it's a little bit, when it's spiking and when it's all that nice and white, um, high intensity. Uh, that has been fairly calm. I will be posting things on the community page, um, also my Facebook and my Instagram when things are a little bit, you know, are changing up a little bit, okay? So now what's going on then for these uh, times? Let's see what we have here um, on my Okay, July, we've talked about July 5th already in the last one. On July 9th, uh, Mercury that's in Cancer will be squared with Jupiter in Aries. Now, squaring, there's a little opposition there. Mercury is about um, communication, it's about speaking. It's in Cancer, which is about family, home, very caring type of energy. So there's an emotional energy, and it's squaring with Jupiter in Aries, which is actually good luck. You know, Jupiter is the planet of good fortune. Aries is the god of war. So so there could be some things that, you know, just kind of like making that, um, you know, talk about, when I've talked about this before, it's kind of like that grain in the sand, gray, that grain of sand in the, um, you know, in the oyster shell. And, you know, it's, it's kind of an irritant, but yet at the same time has good energy come out. It becomes that pearl. It could be that. It could be that happening. Um, and remember, it's not just a light switch that turns on and off. It actually is kind of like, oh, the energies start and then the energies dissipate. So we have that going on. Mercury, which is again in Cancer, is, um, I, I told you that way. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Cancer is actually the sun in Cancer on the 10th. Sextiles with Uranus, which is in Taurus right now. Um, Uranus in Taurus is all about expect the unexpected. This is just kind of like two planets or, you know, the sun, the sun and Uranus just kind of hanging out again. And, you know, nothing really major, but yet things are getting ready. It's kind of like they're making plans for the party. They're making plans for the barbecue or the winter, whatever is going on. They're just kind of making plans on what's going to be happening. And Uranus is going to have some really interesting energy. I think it's going to be around August 1st or 2nd. Um, so we'll watch what's going on there. Then the 10th, the 10th is, you know, the, is three days before that full moon. The full moon on the 13th will be in Capricorn. And that's when on the 10th, you know, three days before, three days after, that's when you do things like um, you release, relinquish, and request, as I like to put it. You release the things that are holding you back. You relinquish what you don't need anymore, and you request all the good the stuff. And three days before is a really good time that you can start doing that. I like especially the day before and the day after, or in the day of, so the 12th, 13th, and the 14th. But you can definitely start preparing and putting that energy out, okay? So, um, you know, things are happening. There's also some things happening in the natural world um, on July 5th. There's some weird stuff going on. 
Uh, we will see, and again, like I said, I'll post stuff as it pops up and kind of goes, oh my goodness, things are happening. Uh, a lot of us are feeling you know, on edge with it. We might feel a little calmer again. I kind of wonder, though, again, again, is this that eye of that hurricane? Is that the eye of the storm where everything appears calm and we just now wait? Who's to say? Anyway, let's see what we have here with our white rider tarot cards so let's get started if i have not responded to you uh, via you know email um, or any direct messaging and such i am so so sorry as many of you know i'm on you know if you follow me on facebook i'm kind of on uh summer hours and the time is not is not totally my own so let's see what we have going on what we have going on Okay, you know when a card flies, you know, it needs to be seen. But it is face down. Now, anything that's reversed is a little bit stronger energy. So it is face down. Let's uh, adjust that camera a little bit more. Let's see what else we might have. What higher power? I, I, am, an, um, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, God, Holy Spirit, and just ask whatever words need to come through come through to whoever is out there that needed to hear the message so let's see higher power what do you want to say what's going on in the world per se lots of strange stuff but again as i'm always telling you no matter what is going on in the world we still need to live our lights our lives we are um, very much light workers we are star seeds we were brought here for this moment and we need to encourage each other, okay? And many times in your comments also encourage me. So thank you for that. Here we go. Okay. It does help if I put my glasses on. <laughs> it does help a little bit. So let's see what we have here. Well, what's going on in the world? First card. This is the one that flew out. Ace of Swords. So, now, Ace is number one, okay? It is a one. It is um, new beginnings, new starts. It is a, it's a, it's a new leg of a journey, okay? It's a new chapter in your life. It's a new, you know, it's a new way of looking at something. Now, Swords energy is our air energy. It is our Aquarius, and you know, Saturn's in Aquarius. It is our Gemini. Venus is in Gemini, and it's also our Libra. So it's air energy. It is uh, thought processes. It is making plans. It's also hearing news. So the Ace of Swords is a new beginning in a, a new um, in a new challenge, in a new way of looking at life, a new way of looking at, or in, even in experiencing what is going on around us. Okay. Now the thing about it is there is there is this very bright divine hand coming so there it, it is a divinely a, a divine timing type of energy here and it's coming out of the gray cloud so something with that's going on something so even though this is what this would be kind of like the silver lining you know looked in the silver lining into the storm cloud in itself but it's also telling me that um you know god higher power has things handled okay I am getting kind of an Excalibur type of energy here, you know, going back to that King Arthur and the um, Knights of the Round Table, and maybe, and again, whatever's coming out of my mouth, you tell me, tell me what this might mean to you, because I, like I said, I just open up and let this all flow. I'm, I am kind of getting the um, Excalibur, I am getting the um, Knights of the round, round Table, I am getting the King Arthur type of energy with the Ace of Swords. Next card is, okay, so now we have an Eight of Cups. So Eight, Eight of Cups. We've had this a couple of times, I think, or at least once in our universal reading. Eight is unlimited opportunity, unlimited possibilities. The Eight of Cups is, you know, Cups is, again, Pisces, Scorpio, and it is also Cancer. We are in Cancer season right now. It has that emotional um, energy to it. It has that family, that home, that really what you care for type of energy here. So cups is very fluid, very, um, you know, very spiritual too. But this is, you know, the interesting thing about this is the cups 
are nicely stacked. They're nicely stacked, and I'm kind of getting a, um, I don't know if we're having a five of cup energy here and a three of cup energy here, um, but the thing about this, is, and five of cups is really, look again, looking for that silver lining and look, and that they're, all things happen for a reason. And the three of cups is the um, celebration. All of a sudden I'm looking at it and seeing how these are, you know, these are stacked on each other a little bit differently. But the thing about this is this is a turning away. This is a walking away. Walking away from what you once knew. Walking away from um, what is, uh, you know, the standard. Now, we do have the, um, you know, this, this crescent moon. And I do think that that would then be, oops, ooh, that flew came upside down. Um, I do think I could be wrong with this one. Um, I think, well, okay, I'm not going to go if that's the waning or the waxing, but usually at the waxing moon to the full moon is as it's, um, you know, as it's time for requesting and such like that. So we did have our new moon just recently in Cancer. We are coming to that full moon in Capricorn. And, you know, Capricorn, again, what did I say? That was on the 13th. So things are changing. Things are you know, um, happening. So maybe, maybe by the 13th, but again, this is a walking away, walking away from an emotional situation. And it's very, um, you know, it's very, the, the path may not necessarily be easy, but um, it's, it's really a very strong um, major change, major change. And it's, you, you know, letting things go, letting things go. Next card is now, so we have that five of cups again. Remember I told you that we have that five of cup energy here? So five has some change energy. It has, you know, it has, um, you know, positive, it's negative energy. It's just change. Change happens. Change can be very stressful. Change, uh, the five of cups, again, the cup energy, it is about, um, you know, the fluidity. It is about the emotional um, energy. And here the person again, so here we have that three again too, and the three and the two. So here we have the three cups. They've spilt. They've lost. They've lost whatever they contained, and the person is mourning that. The, this is kind of like mourning the past and yet not necessarily seeing the good in that future. Okay. So some there's a, there's some emotional changes happening with this energy here, and again there is this walking away. I still get that um, Arthur, Arthurian Arthurian King Arthur type of vibe with that ace of swords don't always get that in fact i don't think i ever got that before but i am getting that there is you know some there is a new path a new direction hearing things but we leave something behind or the universe is changing leaving something behind and it may not necessarily feel positive to everyone but again this is that looking for that silver lining and um, just moving on, moving on, or getting ready to move on, because this person's not, this person now needs to mourn a little bit. This person is definitely saying, okay, I'm gonna, I'm looking for something more. I'm looking for something better. Okay, and again, the moon, something with the moon here. Okay, let's see what, yes, I still, oh, Colette, I'm so sorry, Colette Baron reed Let's see what we have here with the good tarot. Now, so we've had the water sign and we've had the air sign, and now we have the air sign again. That one flipped over. So this is challenges. This has some challenge to it. Now, this is the page of air. Page. Um, now, all of the court cards have um, dual energies. Page's underlying energy is our earth energy. It's our tangible energy. It's our Capricorn, so we're coming into that Capricorn full moon. I think there's something with that. Taurus, you know, Uranus is in Taurus. There's still a lot of Taurus stuff going on with that. Um, it's also our Virgo energy. So it's our money, our job, our career, very tangible energy, very much our house energy, our home energy. Air energy again, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So... Hearing news, um, hearing news, starting on a new plan. This could have something to do with your job, your security. But it's also hearing news, um, again, that new plan. And the page, though, the page says, okay, I feel like the page is kind of like, um, you know, rolling up his, her sleeves 
and saying, let's jump in, let's get things done, let's do this. Pages are very um, enthusiastic. Pages just, you know, they don't, they don't know, they don't see the obstacles. They just know things have to be done, things have to change. Pages are also messengers of the king's court, king or queen's court. They would be the messengers. They would bring the message um, to wherever it needed to go. So something about this air again, there is some challenges. It's not necessarily an easy, um, um, an easy leap, but at the same time, it's something that is very, very needed. Okay, so here we have, that's the page of air. The only card, the only one we did not speak of is fire energy. That is our Aries, our Leo Sagittarius. That is passionate, burning, determined. That would be your rods or your wands energy. Okay, very, you know, and we're, we do have Aries going on. We still have that, you know, remember that, that Sagittarius full moon, we will be feeling that effect for a little bit longer, not just from full moon to full moon. It just kind of, you know, kind of like, uh, like, a, like, skips, like a rock skipping on the um, pond. You know, it keeps moving on. Um, but we will be... And we will be going into Leo season, and we will have some Leo energy going on, you know, pretty soon, too. We are feeling more and more of that Leo energy. So something, something challenging, something challenging. Walk away, uh, feel your emotions, but know that, um, you know, even though it may feel very hard and may feel very harsh, something, you know, it is time to walk away because there is this new, I don't know. I, I feel, again, I get this new, um, you know, the Excalibur energy. I get the King Arthur energy. I get the Knights of the Round Table energy. And the Page of Air says, hey, we might not necessarily understand it or agree with it. But, you know, the Page is like, let's go do it. Let's get started. Okay, so anyway, anyway. You know, this is the moment. We're about to start your readings, but this is the moment where I ask you to please, 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 like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, get, you know, share it with everybody, if you would, please, um, you know, I, it really helps, and I really thank you all, we got to 25,500 subscribers, thank you, now, I, I would love it if you all watched, but I do thank you for subscribing, I really, really do, anyway, um, I've done that part, so why don't we start our readings, and hello to my Sagittariuses, how are you, my sweet ones? Oh, yes, I always feel such energies coming from you, you know. No matter what things look like, there's always, you know, you see rainbows. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes you got to see the storm clouds, and I know that. I know you're not always, but, you know, you're, all, you're not always um, bright and shiny, but I do know that you always try. So I love that about my sages. So let's see. Let's see what rainbows are there for you. Here we go. Let's see, higher power, what do you have for my Sagittarius's? My lovely, lovely ones. Okay, one, two, three. Make that pretty, or at least so we can see it. Here we go. Reversed, strong stuff, first card. Page of water, romance in the air. Is there something new happening for you that just feels lovely that just feels hopeful that just feels like i you know it, it's almost it's almost like uh being in a hallmark movie almost like you know reading one of those romance books it just feels very dreamy loving very um you know just very hopeful very like anything is possible so pages pages underlying energy is earth money job career Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. So there is this grounded. You're not, it's not that you're just flowing along. You're not, you know, there is a grounding. There is a tether. There is a tether for you to hold on to. And you really should hold on to the tether. But the water energy, the Cancer, the Pisces, the Scorpio, it wants to sweep you up. It wants to bring you to just wherever it wants to flow you to. So I do, I do ask you to hold on to the tether a little bit. Because um, otherwise, it, you know, you, you could just be swept up and you need, you need to stay a little bit on that grounded energy. Now, pages love, they just love to just jump in. Could be about messages also because messages, pages do bring messages. So there could be some messages coming about something that just makes you feel just totally like 
like I said, anything is possible. The rainbows are there. The sun, all of these really wonderful type of energies. Tether yourself a little bit. Stay grounded, but then let's see where this flows, okay? So pages, page of water is intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic abilities. So what you know, you know. You know what you know. Trust your gut. Reversed. Six of air. Six of air. Six, the number of man. It's the energies and efforts you put into something. You have been wanting this. You have been going after this. Now, air is our Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Aquarius and Gemini. Venus is in Gemini right now. So if this is a love interest, if this is a, but it's a, just a strong romantic or a strong wanting type of energy. The six of air is leaving something behind that was not good for you. Was leaving something behind, moving from something that has just been holding you back, holding you down, keeping you from being who you are supposed to be. Remember, you're a fire sign. When we get some air into, you know, mix some air with some fire, your passion rises, your passion starts again. So the six of air, things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. The last card here, the page of air. So you've got some pages around you. And again, we know what the underlying energy is. We know the air energy. And also air is about um, thought processes, making plans, thinking things through. Whatever this is going on, it's stimulated. It's been stimulating your thoughts. It's stimulating your possibilities. You remember, pages you know, could begin. Pages do bring messengers, messages, but pa you know, but the page of air is like all these possibilities are opening up again. Things are happening, and I know the world may not necessarily. You know, the, the bigger world may not necessarily feel that positive, but again, I'm always saying we have to live our lives and we have to stay positive. And the page of air has wonderful opportunities, wonderful ideas, you know, kind of thinking into that future a little bit. If this is a romantic relationship happening, you know, if things are changing, you might even be thinking about, um, you know, just like, oh, where are we going to live or maybe my next date or if this is a relationship that's resurging, again, it's all these possibilities happening. It's it's like there's so much, so many possibilities for you, my Sagittariuses, and I feel like you need to, um, you know, catch the next star and just and just fly away with that. Anyway, okay, logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or change to plans, truth delivered without tact. I just feel, eh, like I said, I do think you do need to stay grounded, but that truth delivered without tra tra uh, without tact, I just feel you need to stay grounded and you need to have, you know, keep your keep realistic thoughts and plans, okay? Maybe maybe when you're by yourself, you can let your mind, you know, dream on a little bit, but when you're in the reality of the world with that person or that situation, stay stay grounded, okay? How's that? How's that? There is a lot of possibilities with this, but you don't want to necessarily go too fast for that other person. And that could be job, money. It could be anything, really. It, but it's a, it's a strong emotion. So I'm not telling you to curtail your dreams. I mean, it, it's good to have dreams. It's just you don't have to share your dreams just yet. Okay, here we go. And I do love this. Things are looking better. So higher power. John Holland's Psychic Tarot, Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards. Heart Chakra. Well, this is very much, this is something you really want. Is this a romance? Let me know about that. Is this a, you know, this is something you really want. Your heart is all in on this. It is reversed. We do have that four energy. So we have a six, four, four, six energy. So take a look at what that is. Four has stability has leadership, has organization. This is a chakra. Chakra energies, and again, lots of chakras all over and outside your body. The, the seven most spoken about um, is, you know, is basically one is down, and then crown is seven, of course. But the four, the heart, the heart shares a unique spot with both the supernatural and the natural. So it is a, it is a unique placement. That's how I look at it. Now the chakras are supposed to be, I like this definition, it is where physicality, soul, and spirit meet. So 
you know, so here the heart chakra has the physicality, the, um, you know, the natural, but it also has the supernatural. But the heart wants what the heart wants. Again, what I'm going to just say is you can have dreams, you can have hopes. It's all wonderful. Things look really positive. Stay grounded, though, when you're, stay grounded. Don't, you know, if it is a romantic reading, don't, don't um, pull out a magazine about weddings, okay? Stay grounded. Let things unfold. Enjoy the enjoy your the relationship as it blossoms, okay? Let's see what we have here. But remember, it's through your energies that this is now that you're moving forward. So maybe you've been putting it out into the world or into the universe to God, saying this is what I want, and now it's you know it's it's through your energies that this is happening. Okay, let's see what crystal or energy we have for my Sagittarius that would be helpful for my Sagittarius. Here we go. Aqua Marine. Water healing. Compassion. Speaking your truth. Compromise. My Sagittarius, this is such a lovely reading. And just it just it's just like I said, rainbows. It just has hope. It has so many good feels to it. So let me know, though, what this means to you, how this resonates for you, okay? Anyway, my Sagittarius, take a moment, please. Yes, do the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, do all of that. Most importantly, yes, most importantly, my Sagittarius's know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.